So something I wanted to do before Christmas is show you the Christmas Eve box that I've sorted out. Now this is my first year doing a Christmas Eve box at all. We have been trying to make Christmas Eve extra special and I do a turkey roast dinner and desserts and we do a Kris Kringle with the kids and all that sort of thing. But this year I've actually put together a Christmas Eve box. I hadn't actually planned to do this video right now. Um, so I'm in a semi messy bedroom. I've had this box for a few years. I got it from Ikea. They still sell them. And um, they also sell similar ones at Bunnings, I think. And it's handy because it's got like a little handle area. And I've just been, I've been using it for other things, but nothing really important. So I decided it makes a nice Christmas Eve box. If you hear all weird noises out there, the kids are playing. I don't know what that banging is. <laughs> so first glance, it looks like fun. I hope the kids, I'm sure the kids are going to think this is incredibly fun. <laughs> Sorry, I've Got someone asking me to fix something okay so what i did and i don't want to like say it too loud because this is all a surprise for the kids i got them so for christmas eve when we're going to be hanging out as a family i'm going to be cooking a roast dinner we're going to watch a christmas movie we're going to have christmas carols we might do some christmas craft we're going to do a Kris kringle i i'm a i'm very much a christmas person and i might even be more excited than the kids so I think the kids will love these. Very colourful and lots of jelly beans. Uh, obviously Isla can't eat these but she'll have fun rattling it I'm sure. And then I would grabbed these as well. So that's extra sugar again. <laughs> Lollipop each. This I don't think any of the kids have ever tried. Maybe a couple of my eldest have tried it many years ago. Coloured popcorn. I didn't even like this as a child. It's so sickeningly sweet. But I thought it looks exciting. So <laughs> there's only a little bit of it anyway, just to try. And then while we're still on to sweets, I had grabbed these to share as a family while we watched that Christmas movie. And then I got Christmas bonbons. These are just the cheapies so that they each get one of these. What I'm gonna do is put one of these with this and this and hand it to them as a little thing with also, I'm going to make up with glitter. Got glitter there, some more glitter over here, I think, yeah. And I've got these little bags. So then they've got little name tags. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to make up reindeer food in little bags and even the big kids are getting one because as far as i'm concerned it's a human rule to be excited by christmas so in here i'm going to put oats and then glitter and that's reindeer food so they'll get a little packet of reindeer food each along with a christmas bonbon a lollipop and a jelly bean candy cane there's a lot of noise out there sorry guys People are cleaning. Got to get this house Christmas ready. <laughs> and then I've got a bunch of textures and crayons and things down there. Uh, and some colouring in stuff. I think I've got a Christmas theme one for old kids too somewhere that I'll have to put in here. And also that's a packet of, I think it's eight placemats for kids to colour in. And then this book, it's a new book, a couple of new books. So Windows, this is actually about how coronavirus, um, you know, has affected people, but from a child's perspective. So I thought that would be a nice new book to have. And then the other book I got is The Night Before Christmas. It says, or a visit from St. Nicholas. I haven't actually read it. So I don't know if it's like, is that what it's called? Or is it two books in one? I thought it was just called The Night Before Christmas. So it's got lovely illustrations. I think it might be a bit different to just the traditional The Night Before Christmas. I don't know, but it looks nice. I thought we could read that to the kids. So that is the Christmas Eve box. 
So this is an impromptu video, but I thought people might be interested in how we do Christmas with 10 children, as in how we choose to celebrate it. So I love Christmas. It is my favorite day of the year. And ever since I was about seven years old and had some pocket money to get people stuff, I have so much easier. I found a little spot for my camera. It's one of the problems with being a YouTuber is you get really sore arm muscles if you're holding the camera all the time. Uh, and it is a big thing to organize it with 10 kids. So what I do is this year I started a bit early given the sort of year we've been having, right? So basically in October, I ask the kids to make their Santa list and I tell them that they'll get a couple of things from that list. They're not going to get everything on their list and that they'll get a couple of surprises as well. We have a budget for... Uh, for each child, which is sort of like a rough budget because the smaller children tend to look like they've got bigger things, but it actually costs less because that's just the nature of, well, it's actually the nature of when your kids get older, they want technology and um, books. Books can be really expensive, like proper books. Uh, and uh, so things become more expensive. So I start by making a rough list of the things I know they want and I, the, the things that I know I want to get them. Which brings me to, we use Christmas as an opportunity to get our kids things that they need. And I'm not talking really boring things like, you know, just they need some socks and that, you know, not that they don't get those. Um, they generally get socks or underwear as a stocking stuffer. Um, but uh, we're in Australia, so Christmas falls in summer, of course. So we might get them beach gear if they need some more bathers or boogie board or something like that. Uh, or we might get them camping gear or board games, books, crafts, those sorts of things. Sometimes they'll get a new outfit. This year I got them quite a few clothes a couple of months before Christmas for summer so I didn't really need to focus on that so much and that was purely because they had all had big growth spurts this year um, so we don't get our children presents just because throughout the year the only time they get presents aside from I'll buy them new arts and crafts the only time they get presents is their birthday and Christmas and so I do like to spoil them I do like to uh, make it a very special thing uh, at the same time we have a budget and um, you know I want to take advantage of that time to get them things that they need not just things they want because I'm not really into plastic toys and just random things that are going to break or they're going to get over quickly so they get one or two sort of things that they want that might be a plastic toy who knows um, but then they get practical sort of things there are certain toys that I like to focus on most years we'll get, definitely get some Duplo or Lego books always. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, so I don't do the four present thing that a lot of people do, you know, something to wear, something to read, something you want, something you need. Uh, that's a great idea and I grew up getting four presents myself and thought it was absolutely fantastic. It was, Christmas was my favourite time of the year, <laughs> day of the year then and still is. Um, I don't do that but I think that's one option. So I make a list with each of their names and what that is going to be. Sort of the price given to each of those presents and then what each of those presents are going to be as I think of them. And then I purchased things. This year I did 100% of my Christmas shopping online. I bundle things into boxes. Um, so their best present goes into box one. And then I also do the wrapping well in advance. So I've finished my Christmas wrapping. And then once things are wrapped, they go back into that box. Christmas Eve, me and my husband put things arrange things around the Christmas tree in a way that they're all opening their the same sort of present each in a certain order. <laughs> now all of those presents are from us. We do do Santa. Santa puts presents in a sack in front of the ones we've already put down. And Santa brings things like a couple of small gifts that are wrapped and then Santa brings lollies and chocolate and a fun drink and some chips and you know a book 
and that's what Santa does. And then the wrapped presents under the tree are from myself and my husband. So uh, it's dinner time at the moment. I do have to get down and help out. <laughs> but um, I hope you enjoyed that for interest's sake. Thank you so much for watching and I look forward to chatting with you in the comments. If you're new, welcome. Please subscribe. If you're not new but haven't subscribed, please do so. That would be brilliant. And I wish you all a very Merry Christmas. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.